Josa Arce is an immigrant and a former dreamer, and she joins us tonight, I believe, from Los Angeles. Josa, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks for having me on again, Tucker. So, um, look, there may be things about this plan you don't like. There are definitely things that I don't like about it. But it's hard to see how a plan that gives legalization, amnesty, and a path to citizenship for more than 2 million people here illegally, none of them white, is white supremacy. How does that work? Well, I think we have to take a step back and look at this from the beginning. The reason why we're in this chaos situation uh, of, of young people's lives being on the line is because the president rescinded DACA, the program that gave undocumented young people the ability to work and go to school and drive and pay taxes. Uh, he ended that program, and that is why we're in this situation. And let's be well, very can, clear. Can I, so, so, the hold on. So, wait, hold on. Since, hold on. Since you want to do that because, and dispute property. Hang on. Oh, no, stop. Hang no, no, no. On. No, you no, just, I'm going to ask you a, a question, though, slow, and so now no, no, it's I, my turn no. to speak. I don't, I don't believe it is. Right? I want to ask you a question about the discussion today, not about the roots of DACA, which I'm happy to debate with you in some other forum. I want to ask about the response today to this proposal released last night, which is that it's white supremacy. And I would like you to tell me if well, you I'm believe it is, an and if so, how. You would let me. If you could give me a crisp well, answer and not filibuster, I'd appreciate it. Listen. It was Donald Trump who ended the DACA program, and he did so because he wanted to hold hostage and use as bargaining chips the lives of 800,000 undocumented people who have been here their entire lives, who are American in every single way. And now what we're trying to do is to create a second class citizen. Okay, that's what this, that's what this program does. It okay. says so are you that not the going dreamers to answer can my become question? This is giving people I, who are here illegally are getting amnesty and a path to citizenship, which is what you've been asking for, and you're calling that white supremacy. None of those people yes, are white, so how price? is it white supremacy? But at what price? I'm not calling it white supremacy. I don't think those words have come out of my mouth. They've come out of the mouth of I'm not calling the it white supremacy ranking Democrat. All. What I am saying is okay. that this this plan, what it does is it creates a second class citizen because it says that the dreamers can become citizens themselves, but they cannot sponsor their parents. They cannot sponsor their siblings. And those rights are different than the rights that you have. And you just said earlier that this plan, the two million people, that none of them are white, which is untrue because there are undocumented white people. There are 50,000 undocumented Irish people living in New York City. Sure. So there no, are there are. You know, no, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. They're not covered by this. So that, that's my only point. You're absolutely right. There are definitely undocumented there white immigrants. There are dreamers who are white, Tucker. Oh, I'm sure there, there are, are white but it's an indefinite. In I, I absolutely believe you. It's just, a, it's an indefinite. Look, I, I don't care actually about it's the race fact. of you don't the have dreamers to believe me it's a fact I, I do believe you my only point is that what you're seeing today is not an expression of white supremacy so i wish you and your friends would stop making that point because it's a lie and it's divisive that's my only point and because it, it's not true and it, it makes people hate each other do you understand what plan, I, i'm saying it is a plan that makes it is a plan that would potentially make two million people who are mostly people of color have less rights than white citizens so that is uh, racist. Okay, so it's racist I, too. I, so you a, sneak, I, you come in the a, country illegally as you did. You have a moral right to well, let your first relatives of all, I come too. I did not too? come into the country illegally. Let's get the facts straight. I came to the U.S. on a plane on a tourist visa. So I did not come into this country. Oh, illegally. I thought that you overstayed. I'm sorry, I totally misunderstood your bio. I, I did that overstay you were my visa, but oh, I did you not did. come oh. into the country illegally. Oh, you were here illegally. Okay. So I guess that's what I just said. But my and the point other is, point that you're missing if you here are is here illegally, a two year old how do you cannot break the law? It was but their the parents, parents who brought them to this country. The parents not, who brought them no to this country. Their own. Right. So you're saying that the parents who brought them to this country now have a moral right to become citizens also. And I'm wondering where that right comes from. Listen, if, if I, a simple become, question. I am now a U.S. citizen, and if I want my mother to be able to come visit me and to be able to come be with me as a United States citizen, I should have that right. You have hold that on, right, hold right? No, if no, you no, had a wait, mother so, 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 who lived so in a different country, if, if, you would be able to sponsor so her. So you sneak into the country, you bring your child, that child gets citizenship, and now you have a right to citizenship because you're the one who caused this problem that parent in the first place by bringing again, your child here illegally, back, but I, I have to, as a citizen, give you citizenship? How does that work exactly? No, but why should I be for that? 
going back to the point I was making at the beginning of the segment, which How is that the reason we are in this situation is because the president ended DACA, and then he tasked Congress no, 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 with coming up with a solution you, you wanna, you to wanna fix have that the debate, DACA but problem. Let's talk about but look, now actually, we are now you're not we are answering saying my question. that Dreamer Lives should pay well, you don't for a have an answer. billion dollar No, no. Wall. So you're saying if I sneak into someone else's country and bring my child, and the people of that country are kind enough to give that child citizenship, that I somehow deserve it too? Because why? Why? That's a simple question. Why don't you give me a simple answer? I'm going to tell you why. The reason why is because if these people become United States citizens, as they would under this plan, they should have the rights of as every other American citizen has. Why okay. should this person, if we're making them citizens, why because should they have less rights? Because you came illegally, so that citizens, that's why, that and we don't want to reward table, that behavior. Then they should have the same rights as every other United States citizen. Let me ask that's you really, re really quick. So the ACLU s uh, described this as the supposed generosity of giving citizenships to people who are here illegally. Do you think it's generous of the United States to give citizenship to people who came here illegally? Do you think it's generous? I think that we are we are trying to talk about two different things. Right? No, we're talking, trying to talk about. This I'm asking not, you a simple uh, question. Do you not, think it's generous to give people who are here illegally citizenship? I don't think that it's generous to oh, separate families okay. and create second class I citizens. No, I, I don't. I don't know why don't we would bring in people who are not grateful separated. for the privilege of being an American citizen. You're definitely in that category too. But Julissa, by the way, thank you. Okay, we're out of time. Thanks.